that's number one. Number two, bang it back. Number three, you're going to drop. Now you can use right or left. Actually, I'll probably use right first, to be honest. So we go one, two, three. Okay. So you're sensing how much you can drop and separate it. My arms are still here. And we're in a place now which we'll to use number four, which is the vertical. Yeah. Then you can extend. Got a few goes, just right-handed. So start on your back foot. Yeah. Keep your grip, and then you can throw it forward on one. So throw it forward on one. One, back on two, and drop into three. Yeah. So you're going to be dropping, which will tap this board as the club is still at the back. Up there, yeah. yeah. It's still travelling up. This will actually brace one, it. Two, one, two, three. Oh, no, I've got that wrong. forward on one. So you go, start back there. So you go, get some momentum. One, two, two, three. Yeah, now that's a bit orchestrated by you. It's a bit of tension. It's okay. a bit of, I, don't, I don't want you to bring the club down. Just leave it up there. One, two, two. drop into three. Yeah, that's better. Just bring that board with you. We'll, just nip it. we'll do it outside together. I want you to lead like this with the upper body. We call it the wrecking ball. Yeah, good. So the shoulder will actually go sweep back. Hold it there. Now this goes down as you sway. So you're, yeah, let, let yourself. That's going to load into your foot. Okay. So you're using all your body mass to load into the foot. Right. If I just squash that with my lower body, that's all I've got. Yeah. If I do this, that's effortless. It's all my body weight. Yeah. And if I just drop, now what this is doing, this is giving me the opportunity not just to load effortlessly, but then yeah. to, to, to spring. Time. That's it, then it swings. Yeah. Yeah, you've got to throw the club back faster. There we go. Your backswing's been too slow. Oh, really? Notice, yeah. In a, in, probably in an effort to try and control it, we're throwing it back now. The sway, it reacts to the sway. So sway, then swing. That's it. Now you've got the kind of intensity you need to get some elastic recoil. Right. Otherwise, it's too. It's like throwing a ball like this. Yeah. And then I've got to try and find some sort of kind of sequence instead of getting the thing off in motion. But it's this that's triggering. Right. And what's moving this is the feet. the feet. So now you've got your body moving. So the back swing's the same. So have a couple of swings on the grass now. So you can start your swing with a little forward press. Like that? Shot. Right. Yeah. What a shot. That's better, isn't it? Yeah. The club's reacting to you there. Yeah. Hover the club over the ball and just swing it back and forth. That's it. Look where you want to go as you're doing it now. Now look back at the ball again. Keep swinging and whenever you feel comfortable, just make a full swing and play it. But don't, no, no, don't stop. So you're going to play it in motion. So whenever you feel comfortable, you carry on and play it. So it's like, when do you recognize your timing? You could even start to just feel a bit of vertical, start to feel a bit of a pop, pop. And it's like, when do I recognise it? So this needs to be a lot, lot earlier. That's right. all. So I practice swing. Let's see that early part. So yeah, just too late. Right. Just do this with me. Do a step, swing, step, swing. Yeah. Now they're together. Right. So let's do this. Let's do you know, this. this is interesting because I've tried this with your videos. Have you? And I just can't get it. So I reckon we'll be all right now because of what we've done, I think, because your body has been using this to balance. Right. What we're doing is we're challenging the body's balance to, so it recognises it doesn't need to use the club as a crutch. Right. Because otherwise it slows it down. Right. So we can go step or jump, swish, jump, swish. So we can actually separate this. Yeah, then jump, swish. Yeah, just watch me as you do it now, ready? So start with the club up there. This way. That way. Ready? Watch me. Jump first and then swish it. Jump, swish. Keep it up there, watch me. Jump, swish. That's it. Now watch me. That's it. It's half way late, way later. Excellent. Excellent, well done. Different feel? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's use all that. You've got really 
more you've got more so much more movement to explore on the way back you can stand up and really let that club swing so it's going to give you time look at that you can, can you feel that free swinging action yeah yes look at that that's that's going to let you tap into that drop and pop look how high you're going to be hitting it there ian oh right okay we're going to be hitting it over those trees onto that green Very good. <laughs> shot. Shot. <laughs> what a shot. Very good. That was better, wasn't it? You, it needs intention. Yeah. Yeah. It's the start, this. That's what it is. I often say it's not a magic pill. It's not the actual, this is your golf swing now for life. This is a new kind of a new beginning. It's, a, it's the framework to build on, to develop the game with. Off you go, same shot over that, waggle the club, look where you're going as you're waggling it, paddle the feet, settle into the shot. Oh, oh wow. Shot oh, here. Oh wow. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I love your perseverance. Oh, you see the thing is, everything we're doing is layering up, layering up, layering right, up. Okay. But you'll regress, you'll regress, you'll regress because your body's not comfortable in certain right. areas. So it regresses, but then what we're doing is we... It's like going to the gym and working on the whole body. That's what we're doing. Right. You're not just going in there and just doing doing this for... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to do this for six weeks and get stronger in my legs. I'm actually going to do the whole body every time I go and my whole body gets stronger. Yeah. And then when yeah. I want to use my whole body, it's more adept at moving for whatever I want to use it for. So all these exercises are enriching your whole body awareness. There'll be specific ones that will trigger. Trigger, yeah. That you'll that will resonate more deeply. You'll see how you're moving and your behaviour, and how you can almost tell you're going to hit a good shot because there's fluidity. You're swinging the club. There's freedom. There's a level of ease and effortlessness to it, and then you can just see. Yeah, it's, you're letting it happen. Right. As opposed to trying to make it happen. Make it happen. Yeah. You'll see it when you watch your video back. The video is so powerful because you're going to. Yeah, you're going to instantly spot. Yeah, this freedom. You're letting it naturally happen. I mean, that is awesome. Shot. That's what you mean, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, that was it. Yeah, yeah. Almost something resonated there with what you said. There's a state that you recognise for performance, that your body, you're allowing your body to move. Yeah. As soon as you go into the old... Yeah. Suddenly now, you, you, everything's so rigid, you're trying to make movement, but you're physically not able, to, not do able it. to do it. It's too rigid, which slows it all down, and it's all too much of a block. Whereas yeah. that was freedom. And I think it's the fear, historically, that you think, right, well, if it's not, if it's not steered, then I'm not going to hit the target. And it's born out of maybe the course you play, kind of what you've been experiencing, trying to control it. And look, you had a nice draw, yeah. but it's not a strike like that. Yeah. And the fly. Yeah. Well, yeah. We're going to leave it there. Is that all right for today? I've warned you. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Well it's done. It's been really, Enjoyed really it. good. Thank you. Thank yeah. you, George. Thank well you very much. You. That was awesome. No, well appreciate done. appreciate it. So, and there's, it's, there's hope. There is. Oh, of course there is. Yeah. Of course there You're is. You're not just telling me that. You've seen it. <laughs> You've seen it. I don't need to say anything, really. No. But it's going to be up and down. It's okay. early days. And it's a blank canvas that you start. That it's, it's like you're using everything you've previously done, but you're reconfiguring it and exploring movement that's there in the system but never been accessed before yeah. in this way. Yeah. So we've got to let the body, it takes a bit of time just to let the body get comfortable with it, to use it. But recognising this state is the starting point. Yeah. So when you watch your video back, you actually action it from now. Okay. So you, this, what you've just been doing here is how you enable everything we've done just to emerge to the surface right, okay. it, it just it starts to just naturally happen because there's intention to the shot you're in that state where you can recognize how you're using the ground you can you feel the sequence you've said it numerous times yet yeah, i feel it and now you're just allowing that to happen right okay. you're not interfering with it and trying to make it happen yeah, yeah, yeah. but you'll see that on the video yeah. the video supports it and just now that that is the catalyst to, to the practice right well done, mate. Awesome. No, really appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Very Brilliant. Well done. Fantastic. Thanks again, George. No worries. Low out. If you love the coaching and want to experience the effects of the training that you see with our pupils, you can purchase the GRFI system yourself by following the link in the video description. You'll get all the equipment and a two-hour download 
covering all the fundamentals, exploring your movement and how you can use the ground and create those all important ground reaction forces and transfer them through to club head speed and experience the gains that you're seeing in the videos.